Hey guys, my name is Peter Parker and welcome back to the channel. As you already know, we're on a journey to find the weirdest game on PlayStation Premium from A to Z. And today, we're looking at the letter Y. This time around, we have 9 games to choose from and I have to say, these games aren't weird at all. They just fall into their own category. We have two games from the long running YS series, YS 8 and 9, which are simply RPGs filled with its own story. Then we have yet another zombie defense, which is exactly what the title suggests, a survival game with waves after waves of zombies. We have five of the Yakuza games, which aren't weird at all. It's a mixed bag of action adventure and beat em up, with mixed reviews on all of them, but still worth a playthrough in my opinion. And finally, we have Ninja Gaiden Yaiba, a fast paced hack and slash game. As you can see, none of these games are weird nor strange, they're just normal. So I went with what I thought was the best choice for today's video, yet another zombie defense. Thankfully, this game came out for the PS4 and I had the option to download and play it lag free. Also, seeing that the game is only 200 megabytes, it got me thinking, what does this game even have to offer? Well, let's get into it and find out. After a quick loading screen, we jump into the menu and right off the bat, I'm filled with joy knowing that input lag was not going to be a thing here. I go into the options menu to see what we have to play with. I saw blood was at 100%, so I decided to bring it down to 10%. Nope. Never mind, 0% it is. We don't want YouTube doing its thing. There are three modes to choose from, being defense, endless, and deathmatch. But since I only have defense on lock, that's where we're going. With four characters to choose from, I chose the dock, but it really doesn't matter who you go in with. And since I don't have any friends, I went in alone. I'm now thrown into the darkness with only one street lamp to give me light and the game wastes zero time in sending a horde after you. I ran these zombies in circles while trying to figure out the controls and as you can see, these zombies didn't stand a chance. Even earned two trophies on my first night. Things were looking good. I'm now browsing through the store looking at inventory, but I decided to wait another round to buy something, seeing as everything was expensive as hell. Going into night two, I realized zombies were getting stronger and faster. But that didn't stop me from channeling my Call of Duty zombie days, running zombies in circles. I earned a skill point to spend and I decided to buy movement speed so I can keep my distance from the zombies. In the store, I purchased an auto turret thinking life just got easier. Nope. I had to purchase another weapon to place on top of it so it can then do the work. So I did. The bad part was that I did not know the zombies would attack the turret and break it in 5 seconds. Seems like a mistake only I would make, but we're learning, so it's all good. Look, I finally learned how to use grenades. Now with night 3 complete, I decided to build a base, or at least attempt to build a base. I placed a few wooden barricades and armored barricades to see how well they would hold up in night 4. To my surprise, they actually hold up good at least to distract a group of zombies while I'll deal with another. With night 4 complete, I gain another skill point and I spent it on something sort of useless, pickup range. I wanted to pick up stuff from a distance, but even after the upgrade, you still had to get really close to pick up those items. I saw a sale on the sniper rifle and said come to pop up. I loaded up on ammo and went to work. I fell in love with it right away. In any game that there's a sniper rifle, I want it. The one shot potential and bullet penetration is just awesome. I placed some armored barricades for night 6 and let my sniper do the talking. Even hit a 360 no scope. After a few more rounds I asked myself, is there a story to this game? Is this all that you do? I did a quick search online and yes, this is it. Your goal is to survive infinite waves of zombies and creatures. To then die and start all over again. Don't get me wrong, this game is fun for like 45 minutes. After that, you want something else. This is night 11 
and I've built myself an okay base to keep back the monsters. These barricades are your number one priority. They really save your life. Going into night 12, I spent all I had on barricades and everything was going good until I got greedy. Yup. I got greedy, I stepped outside, and I got surrounded. I didn't realize these monsters start moving at the speed of light. But hey, I got to round 12 on my first try. That's not too shabby. I went on to try the other modes. Endless is what you'd expect, just endless zombies coming at you non-stop. Zombies drop power-ups and weapons, and you try to spend the most time alive. Then I tried Deathmatch, which sounds cool, but I couldn't find anyone online playing Deathmatch. So once again, I was just surviving endless waves. The main focus or objective of this game are the trophies. They provide a challenge, so I tried to complete what I thought would be an easy trophy. Survive 6 nights without purchasing anything from the shop. Sounds easy right? Well I guess I'm just not that good at the game. I ended up dying every single time on the last night. I even lost because I pressed X too fast at the end of a level and bought something by mistake. I tried one more time after that and failed. At this time I was bored and decided to call it quits. This game got repetitive pretty fast. It's not a bad game, just that having such little content kills it. And yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out my last video covering the weirdest game from the letter Z. My name is Peter Parker. See you next time.